one of the men's 1500 meters and larry what are they doing giving away kruger rams look at the guys gathered on that track <laughs> Three of the five fastest milers in the world, ranked by track and field news last year, are in this race. Steve Cram, Jose Luis Gonzalez, and Steve Scott. And look at the rabbit. How long has it been since we have seen the smooth strides of Johnny Gray in the rabbit's position? Gray, I ran into in California about two weeks ago, and he said, when I go to Europe, I'm going to run the Velcloss and meet, but to build my stamina for the World Championships, I'm going to be the pacer for the 1,500 meters, and I'm going to run 1,200 meters, I hope, around 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Larry, I would assume that the people who participate in the 1,500-meter event, the length of their stride, an average of 7 to 7.5 feet, Johnny Gray has to be way beyond that stride. Gray's stride in an 800-meter race is out around 9 feet per You're step. Kidding. No, it really is. It's 9 feet or so per step. That's over. It's just 3 yards. If you want to pace it off. You take a large step when you're walking, you're at 1 yard. All right, let's get up on this thing. That's Gray up in the lead, 57, almost 58 seconds for uh, 800 meters, for 400 meters. That's a little slow, and that looks to me like uh, Steve Cram in second place. Jose Luis Gonzalez wears all yellow from Spain, is in third. Marcus, I think that's Marcus Hecksteiner, back in fourth place. Let's see if we can get a better view of them here. There is Gray coming by. That is Cram in second, and that is Luis, uh, Jose Luis Gonzalez in, in third. Gonzalez ranked fifth in the world last year. St uh, Jim Spivey is wearing the red and the white singlet that you see in the left of the camera right there. We should try and keep an eye on the man on the far left-hand side in the back there wearing white. That is Mike Boyd running next to last right there. That's Boyd on the left of your screen. He's 38 years of age and has run 356 for the mile this year. Unheard of. No human being's ever done that. Ireland's Frank O'Mara is now comfortably running in fourth place. Johnny Gray setting a very, very quick pace here in the 1,500 meters. Steve Scott buried back in the pack. Tim Hacker from the United States is also back in that group. There you see the comfortable strides of Steve Cram, number one ranked in the world last year, a 346 miler. Gonzalez holding on. Gonzalez has good speed, but not the great sprint speed that Cram can elevate himself to in two strides. Johnny Gray continues to try and hold on, and now he will begin to drop away as Great Britain Steve Cram. Johnny Gray has dropped out, and we are on the bell lap. It is Cram and Ho Jose Luis Gonzalez in second place. Jim Spivey was in third. Steve Scott was behind him in fourth. But nobody's going to catch the front runners. It is Cram and Gonzalez. The question at this point as they head down the back stretch is, does Gonzalez have enough to kick Cram? I don't believe he will there. Cram seems to be moving away ever so slightly. Gonzalez struggling to hold the speed that he's showing here. Look at, look at the speed begin to build on Cram. Cram is really beginning to lengthen that lead as he heads into the final turn, looks over his left shoulder, sees where Gonzalez is. The elapsed time in the lower right-hand portion of your screen, the world record in the lower left. It is Cram. 50 meters to go, Phil. Gonzalez looks around, a sign of defeat. And Cram across the finish line, unofficially, 331.43. And if that stands, that is Cram's personal best this year. Likewise, Jose Luis Gonzalez. Bill, that time, 331, if you run another 120 yards at that pace, that translates to a 347 mile that he ran within one second of what the world record for the mile is all out. Look at him just stay up on the balls of his feet. You're looking at the best miler in the world consistently, many people feel, over the last five or six years. Gonzalez running well for second place. That's the fastest time ever run in 1987 anywhere in the world. Cram turns in here today at the Velclasa meet. Question is, where in the world was America Steve Scott? Well, he's been struggling this year. He has not run consistently well. Jim Spivey gets up for third place, running 334 and change. There you see him just glance around and make sure he's got the victory. Six feet, one and a half, only 152 pounds. Very lean, has exceptional speed, and among the world's four or five best. 800 meter runners as well we thought we would see steve cram's fellow countryman sebastian Coe in the race tonight he was forced to withdraw sebastian in chicago having an achilles tendon looked at 
Steve Scott finished eighth in 336. Tim Hacker from the U.S. was ninth in 337. Steve Cram is the winner. He simply wanted to test his fitness level. I was really looking for a good race because this is my last 15 before the World Championship. So it was important to win. But I, I didn't know at the start whether I really wanted to go with the pacemaker. But it, I was stuck at the back and I thought, oh, what the hell, I'll have to go with it. And, uh, you know, Johnny Gray did a good job. Once I latched onto him, he took us around at a good pace. And we never slowed down. We just really kept getting faster. And uh, coming to the bell, I felt very relaxed. But Gonzalez, he clicked my heels just coming to the bell, so I knew he was there. And, um, you know, once Johnny had dropped out, I just decided to go for it from 300 out. Really tried to work down the back straight, and I think I opened up a bit of a gap. With 200 to go, I looked around, so I had the gap and tried to relax down the home straight. But very pleasing performance. It's been a funny old season with the World Championships being so late. Um, trying to peak at the right time was the main thing. And I started the season late. And, you know, with losing that first race in Prague, as I said, it upset my pattern a little bit, I think, and I got worried, lost confidence. I've run some very bad races, I think more due to lack of motivation than anything. But, you know, once Rome has got a little bit closer and, uh, you know, the motivation comes back, training goes a lot better, and now the racing's going well. So, you know, I'm on, a, I'm on an up going into the World Championships, which is what I wanted. Cram passed 800 meters in 153.5, hit the 1,200 meter mark in 250, and then just soared on to victory.